Good day, my audience. You welcome once again to Dr. Fred Academy. Today we shall be looking at the mandible of the horse. That is the equine mandible. It is this bone is actually made up of two different parts. We have the left part and the right part of the bone. Structures present on each of these parts is actually present on the other. So we will just look at uh, some of the structures present here it has two different each of the bones have two different surfaces this is uh, these are the lateral surfaces okay and then this is the medial surface okay this is the medial surface while these are the lateral surfaces let's look at structures present on the lateral surface of each of these bones the first one on the rostral aspect is the incisor teeth okay these are the incisor teeth they're present here and then here is meant to be the canine tooth though already lost but this is the position the distance between the premolar and the canine tooth is the interalveolar space this is the interalveolar space okay the space between this point and this point that is the canine and the premolar is the interalveolar space this is the mental foramen the mental foramen is actually present on the body of the mandible so this is the body of the mandible present here is the mental foramen now going caudally is the vascular impression the vascular impression it is actually a notch for facial artery and vein a notch for facial artery and vein up here we have the the alveolar margin okay this is the alveolar margin the alveolar margin of course the alveolus is a point where the teeth inserts on the jawbone so this is the alveolar margin the alveolar margin okay now let's proceed this is a masseteric fossa the masseteric fossa okay and then this is actually the angle of the mandible the angle of the mandible because the mandible is actually made up of the horizontal ramus and the vertical ramus so this is the vertical ramus and this is the horizontal ramus so this is the angle of the mandible the angle of the mandible moving upwards we have the coronoid process this is the coronoid process this is a mandibular condyle the mandibular condyle Okay. and then this is the mandibular notch the mandibular notch now let's look at the medial aspects of this bone on the medial aspects we have here the mandibular foramen okay that is the mandibular foramen okay. so this is the intermandibular space the intermandibular space the intermandibular space uh, thank you for listening to this short video and i advise you subscribe to this channel dr fred academy if you have not done so and do well to share if it actually helped you thank you